Would you like to buy a custom video just for you? Of what? Anything you want, honey. Just for forty dollars. X. X. A cat driving a tractor. No. <laughs> but you said anything. So by that lovely intro, you can tell we're looking at some of the worst scams part four or five because I've lost count because I can't count in the first place. If anyone uses Snapchat, this is going to go on a bit of a tangent, but if you ever have used Snapchat, as I've just said, if you remember even just like a couple months ago or whenever it was like last year, there was a massive surge in bots, right? They would add you as a friend or randomly you'd get like a message of just like Jessica sending you her melons. God damn it, Jessica, I don't want unsolicited melons in my messages, please. Which might make me sound like the unmanliest man ever. But if you're thinking that, then get a grip of yourself. Not in the way that you would when you see melons. Oh! But yeah, I don't know what was going on there. But you asked for anything. I want a cat driving a tractor. Now you might be wondering, where's the green screen? Is it a mess in the background? There are snacks once again, you can see them. The background didn't change, if anyone is wondering. I don't just now have a green screen and everything else has vanished. But some people's brains, if you get fooled by some of these scams, you could say your brain has vanished. But regardless, you could say it's lazy. You could say, what are you, you're not even trying here. <laughs> but it is definitely more trying then have you heard about the ongoing program that is really paying now? Greet first. Good morning. Morning, you can now proceed with your scam. You are a bastard fool. Ah, yes. Scammers, here's some tips from the TT. The TTP, we call it. No, that didn't make sense. The TTP sounds like some sort of venereal disease. It's the TTT, the Turkish Taliban tips, right at your service. And we're not talking about the tips downstairs. We're talking about the tips upstairs that can help you mentally. If you are going to scam someone, at least have the decency to say hello. All right. Please have some manners about you. OK, say your thank yous, say your pleases. All right. Be nice. And then you can try and steal from me. Duh. And you might have thought the one before this was absolutely lazy. It gets worse. Hi, did you got the cash yet? That's it. What? What are you? An idiot sandwich. You know the scams that just out of nowhere send you a picture and say, Hi, this is me. Because someone asked, apparently, What's up, James? I'm not James. Let's clarify that, otherwise the channel will be called Here With J. And when I'm not talking about the J like that, man. Hey, but some of these scammers, you could well and truly think they are high. Will you see my picture? And it's a picture of some woman and a giraffe. So, the question here is, which one are you? And I ask that because if it's a giraffe sending me this, I think I might have struck gold bars, right? I'm about to make serious bank. I found the jaw, jaw, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, I was gonna say, what was I gonna say? Here we go. One, two, and a one, two, three. What's up, James? You see my picture. Here is me with a giraffe, or here is me with a woman, with a woman, with a woman. I think I've lost my mind. Stop it. Get some help. But as I was gonna say, I've struck gold bars, right? I've, I'm gonna make bank here. I found a giraffe, or it found me, and it can talk and text. Wow. Well, in the end, it, that was just not worth it. Right, this one here, I don't even know where you would go from this message. 
It's a picture of a wine bottle that's wrapped in plastic for some reason. I don't know if you do that. I don't drink. Annie, did you get this bottle of wine I sent you? First of all, why are you just sending random people wines? I get it. <laughs> I know you. Your name is Annie. Do you get it? <laughs> the main question here is though, Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? No, she's not okay, because you've sent her wine that you didn't even send because it's in the picture. You didn't you didn't send it. It's still in your hands. <laughs> this is great banter. No, genuinely in the comments, someone tell me where this scam would have gone. The pesky USPS Donnies are back at it again. USPS Tuesday shipment is ready details and I've probably blurred the link because someone will get curious stop it your name is not George sit down you spelled shipment wrong it's like y'all aren't even trying anymore and that is true not only have you spelt <laughs> way to stick on the scammers you can't even speak you donkey you can't even spell shipment but at the same time there is quite literally a sad face next to Tuesday. I agree, Tuesdays are sad days, but remove the shipment sad face. I've got my shipment ready. What's sad about any of this? <laughs> Do you consider yourself humorous? Guys, this is the most ridiculous one, and I may say that for a lot of them, but surely this is not the way to go to scamming the regular degular schmegular person, right? I'm Joanna. Are you the equestrian instructor that Tina introduced me to? Who's Tina? Tina from Bob's Burgers? She's well and truly lost her mind then. I don't think anyone is looking for an equestrian instructor, right? You need to pick and choose your battles very carefully because what's the likelihood someone is an in equestrian instructor. Guys, or girls, I don't know who's sitting in the cubicles, who's sitting on the floor with their shit stoned, shit stoned. Um, if your underwear is stoned off of fecal matter, you need help further than being a scammer. But you in your shit stained underwear, I don't care who it is, Please, pick a more, just like a driving instructor at least. Equestrian, leave the horses out of this. Now let's take a look at some emails. Because emails still exist, everyone. <laughs> Don't forget about the emails. This is just titled, Reply. So, who are you, Reply? <laughs> Delete me! What are you on about here? Is this Matt Hardy? Delete! That might be so niche, but if anyone gets it, put a thumbs up in the comments or something. And then the message, I'm sorry, but <laughs> shock horror, I can't read that, okay? And there are also triangle things with <laughs> diamonds, triangle things. It looks like The Sims has absolutely gone rogue and someone's hacked The Sims, right? There's question marks in the diamonds. None of this makes sense. Someone, if you want to translate, run it through a translator if you want. But if the translator comes up with a virus, it's your own fault. I don't even know what is going on here. Could it even be a scam? Hmm? Could it? I don't know. I just... I don't know. Don't you just love it when Mark Zuckerberg emails you? <laughs> Thank you for taking time out of your busy day. My friend, thank you for emailing me. <laughs> it's the winning amount, by the way. My name is Mark Zuckerberg, a philanth philanth philanthropist. I've pissed that up, didn't I? The founder and CEO of the social networking website Facebook. Thank you for telling me, Mark. Didn't know who you were. And yes, I'm about to read the entire email. So strap yourselves in. If for some reason now you've put on a dildo, remove that strap 
and strap in in terms of seat belts and sitting back and well sitting back and then taking a dildo is what am i on about here let's get back to mark zuckerberg please for the love of this video social networking website facebook as well as one of the world's youngest billionaires and chairman of the Mark Zuckerberg Charitable Foundation, one of the largest private foundations in the world. Perhaps I need to say that in a more rich, my dad's an absolute money bags accent, right? You know, those stereotypical, the characters in movies, <laughs> you know? One of the largest private foundations in the world. The video has descended into absolute creepy. If anyone remembers Tim from the, the Scamfish reactions, I'm sorry I will now move away from doing that. Police! Police! Help! Police! Help! I believe strongly in giving while living. Nice. It would be pretty hard to give when you're dead, Mark. So, you thought you did something with that quote. It's horrible. I had one idea that never changed in my mind. That you should use your wealth to help people. And I have decided to secretly give $1,500,000 to randomly selected individuals worldwide. How dare Mr. Elon Musk sit there and have an argument, have a fight. He's feuding. He wants to fight physically as well, Mark Zuckerberg. When Mark is doing such great things for the world, take a step back, Elon Musk. Get on your rocket or whatever. Go to the moon and then come back down to Earth and think about what you're doing here. Mark is an amazing human being, as we can see here. <laughs> on receipt of this email... <laughs> You should count yourself lucky as the lucky individual. I've butchered that. But guess what? With Mark's money that he's sending me, I can go and learn how to read. Yes. Your email address was chosen online while searching at random. Thanks. Kindly get back to me at your earliest inconvenience so I know your email address is valid. And I'm going to block his email, no doubt. But it's Mark Zuckerberg some numbers at gmail.com oh wow mark wow email me visit the web page to know more about me and it's the link to wikipedia about mark zuckerberg and he didn't even link it properly there's no there's there's not supposed to be a space between wiki and mark zuckerberg so when you click that you just go to wikipedia and or you can Google me, of course, because when you need to know the validity of an email, you Google someone, which I guess you would, but in this case, shut the hell up. What the hell are you talking about? If you thought Mark Zuckerberg emailing you was bad, we've got a message now, once again an email, from the United Nations. Thank you. Thank you for emailing me. It truly shows that we are, in fact, united. That you would take time to regularly, degularly, schmegularly email a regular, degular, schmegular person. Thank you very much. And once again, we are reading the entire thing. So grab your popcorn. Attention, sir, madam. Yes, United Nations. Sequel to United Nations public protection policy. Say that fast five times. Your tongue will look like a pretzel tying itself up. Against fraudulent activities operating in Europe, US and various African banks, this council was set up to fight against scam and fraudulent activities worldwide responsible for investigating the legitimacy of unpaid contract, inheritance and lotto winning claims by companies and individuals and directs the paying authorities worldwide to make immediate payment of verified claims to the beneficiaries without further delay. Thank you very much, you bastards, for making me have to read such long text. I hate you scammers, and I hate the fact that you think using these big words makes you seem intelligent. Get a grip of yourselves, but I guess 
Is this how the United Nations would speak? I don't know, but remember, they fight against scam and fraudulent activities worldwide. I don't think the United Nations do that. I don't think they fight scammers. But if they are fighting worldwide, the only person you need to call to help you in this instance is Mr. Pitbull. <laughs> well, Mr. Worldwide himself. It's just not funny, is it? It was resolved. <laughs> so, why have you emailed me? That all unpaid claims will be concluded via e-wire transfer through First Sunset Bank. That just does not sound like a bank, does it? It sounds like a beach resort that for some reason has become edgy and included bank in its name. Or it sounds, do you know banks, you know, the along like rivers and stuff, the bank of a river, you know, <laughs> Which is very re reliable and secure bank. Thank you, because, I, I, you know, by you telling me it was a, it was the first Sunset Bank, I didn't want to do any business with you. But now that you've told me it's reliable and secure, I will proceed. Your beneficiary funds, the sum of USD 4.8 million, has been forwarded and deposited in First Sunset Bank for instant transfer to you once you contact them. Let's do this next sentence in that voice. You are advised to contact First Sunset Bank via email below to guide you further on the wire transfer procedures. If you ever needed any further clarification that I couldn't give a shit at how I look on camera, I'm willing to embarrass myself to make people laugh. It's crazy. <laughs> But you know what else is crazy? Mrs. Agnes Scott. Agnes Scott. Thank you. If Scottish, apparently. Is Agnes Scottish? Perhaps is not. I don't know. I've never seen an Agnes, by the way. I've never heard of an Agnes that wasn't in a movie. Which is odd. Please be informed that transfer time is limited sequel to policy. Where's the prequel to this? What is the sequel? Therefore, you are advised to attend as soon... What? Attend as soon as you read this email and also reconfirm your details to them. By the way, there was an email and a stuff above this, but I'm not going to show that for obvious reasons. We have copied all our coordinate security agencies for record purposes. Thank you. Your faithfully... <laughs> <laughs> Your faithfully. What does that mean? Where's yours faithfully gone? Where's the S gone? Tell me. Mrs. Ann Walter, Director, Special Duties, United Nations Security Council. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Ann Walter? Get a grip of yourself. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> this might be one of the most ridiculous emails I've ever seen and shock horror I've used the most ridiculous again what are you gonna do about it sue me I don't have anything please other than steam cards that I can give you so please if you're gonna sue me just be wary of that it's a poem or some type of riddle I don't know it's Mr. Matthew Noble how noble of you eh you scammer <laughs> great deal is it not sorry Mr. Yoda I don't know yet, but let's get into it. I resigned my employment. I did not hate it. What happened was I got a flavor of what actual money making was. If anyone describes to you the the act or the process of them having a larger income than previous as a flavor of what actual money making was, I don't know what to tell you. You need to open up an ice cream shop if you're speaking like this because your talents clearly are being wasted in scamming. We move on. The machine is producing $600 a day. I produced even more when I began working complete time. Must I say more? Find out more and then a link. What machine? 
Why is it producing $600 a day? Are you telling me it's a machine that prints money? And the money quite literally in both ways or many ways is not legit? What are you talking about here? I began working complete time. Are you Doctor Strange now? <laughs> this, the Riddler here is Mystique from X-Men and is the Riddler. He's Mystique. He's Doctor Strange. He's an ice cream man. He's everything you want him to be, other than real. <laughs> Must I say more? I think genuine. I I make sometimes jokes that the scammers are must be on drugs. So with some of the scams that they think would work, must be on drugs. Police! Police! Help! So that was some of the worst scams that I found. Part four or five. Again, I can't remember. Sorry, but up here there's a lot of stuff, and just that's it. That there was no further to that word wow great i'm a i'm a youtuber apparently and i can barely speak but whatever hopefully you guys enjoyed that don't fall for these scams please please don't i mean if you do then what is wrong with you get a grip of yourself especially if if the riddler starts dropping poems in your inbox delete them don't reply I'll see you guys next time. Take care, love, peace. By the way, if you've got to this far in the video and someone is commenting that my hair is greasy AF and is unwashed, I don't care. <laughs> no, seriously, I've just been too lazy to wash it. Anyone relate? <laughs> And I've created a playlist of the worst scam messages things, if you want to see that. Didn't ask.